doesn't make any sense. What, what do you mean it doesn't make sense? Because they didn't ask me and they said, oh, we're not doing any of that, you know, ah, like they're best not. man, best lady or whatever. Oh, okay. Like, but but okay. You're, you're, you're kind of the closest to the best man, put it that way. If there was to be yeah, a best yeah. man. If there was, I probably, if there would have been yeah. one, I would have been the best man. No picking your nose. He was family. And they didn't have any children together. The farm was going to the Andrew, kids. That was the way back? it was. That was the way it was. Which back? The back you've got yeah. attached. You, you, Good. Your oh, spine's man. attached. Good. What do you want me to How do? How do you and Pep feel about, and um, Pep, Ralph feel about going and picking up the fire pit? <laughs> from oh, the what? Jennifer's. Do we need to open up the back roll? Where's door? Anthony? Two doors down. Is he going to help? Go, uh, go around and ask him. Excuse me. I'll you know there's a place right nearby if it's raining. Okay. Okay. You know you can send uh, coordinates. <laughs> I, of course I knew that. Did you know that? No. Oh, there's that. <laughs> no, you send like coordinates and then someone... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Goes exactly that. Oh, yeah. this is really I'll nice. Be, I'll be over tomorrow morning yeah. anyway with the bread and stuff. I'll be over oh, with the bread yeah. tomorrow morning, Thank like you. 8 o'clock or so. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for everything, Andrew and Jane, Groom. everybody. Nothing. Thank you for inviting us. Oh, yeah. Of course. Well, it's a yeah. pleasure to be here, of Max. Of course. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So I'll let you all eat and... Um, yeah. We'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow for the big day. I'll be, I'll be around before anyway. Yeah. Good. Telling you all what to do. Yeah. Good. 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 Yeah. Good. Good. Please. I don't, yeah, think, I don't think the groom yeah, and the bride need to do anything just... tomorrow. No. Does that the groom and bride just have to do it? Are you going to do your hair? Oh, I don't know. Oh, is do it. I love good. Thanks. Love fish. And, and don't think about it. Everything is going to be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It's like, I think mum or someone said, as soon as I get here, I'll just be relaxed. Yeah. really Sorry. Max, you have chosen Mark to mark this occasion with a very small and simple ceremony. But in no way does it take away the importance of this very special moment. I am when you're by so, my side. From our beginnings of spending hour upon hour endlessly talking in a fantasy world, to the dark days of Ross Street, <laughs> to your diagnosis of MS, to us overcoming all of it together. It's all taken us to where we are now and I couldn't be happier or luckier to have you as my best friend and my partner for life. I'm so lucky to have you in my life. Even when I wave goodbye to strangers in cafes or procrastinate until <laughs> the last second, you still put up with me and you still love me. You're the strongest, most loving and determined woman I've ever met and I'm so lucky to have you. You're my best friend, my life partner, and I can finally call you my wife. We've already shared a lifetime together I couldn't imagine living the rest of it without you by my side. So thank you for making me the luckiest person in the world as we make our own little family together. Mm -hmm. I call upon everyone here present to witness that I, Chrissy Lee Paulson, take you, Max and Rudy Blunden Sasaski, to be my lawful.
you so much. You're the most amazing and supportive person I have ever met. I'm so lucky to be so cool with my husband. We're about to embark on a massive journey together. We are pregnant with our first child. I promise to support all your dreams, passions, and desires. I'll never be Huh? Practice. Yeah. Have a practice. Go on. Up you go. Up you go. Yeah. Whoa. Come in. No, I'll, I'll, I'll go here. And, stuff. and um, yeah, I, I just think it's important to recognise their love, and um, I just feel like <laughs> I'm not really sure. Like it's just uh, a really happy time, obviously, for us all. And I think if Michael were here, also, it would be really fantastic, uh, and he would be thrilled to see. Max and Chrissy getting married. Yeah. And, proud. Yeah. yeah. And um, I just also feel like this wedding was a bit of like contribution from everyone um, to make it happen. As Chrissy had said, you know, like everyone chipped in to make it happen. And I think it's a really uh, nice thing that's, that's <laughs> happening today. I just think I'm just really proud of my brother. And I think that. Uh, I'm just, yeah, really happy for them to, to, to be getting together. <laughs> About this whole thing, I think it's been a whirlwind um, 12 years. 
they met at a time when things were extraordinarily in flux. They met online playing a computer game. Yeah, they did. Go figure. They met playing World of Warcraft. I thought that was doomed for failure. <laughs> they hadn't even seen each other in the flesh when they met. They, they, Chrissy lived in Queensland, Max lived in Melbourne. Um, Michael had died and I was on a holiday in Bali with Max and Raph and a really close friend and Max said, I've met a girl and I'm going to bring her to Melbourne. <laughs> James and I are driving to Melbourne to pick up... To Brisbane. This, sorry, to Brisbane to pick up a girl <laughs> and I really, really like her and she's coming back to Melbourne to live, and I was like, radio. <laughs> <laughs> and he brought her back, and they have never looked back. That was 12 years ago. That love, that online love, and you know, I was the first to say, that's bullshit. Oh, no. <laughs> that's yeah, that's never <laughs> Meeting, playing a game, forget it. And they developed this relationship, and the difficulty they had when they got together, first with Max grieving for his dad intensely, intensely for a few years. Chrissy on track to, she really wants, she was a childcare worker, but she was top of her class at every turn. She worked diligently, she worked weekends. They were living with me at the time. And she wanted to go from childcare to kindergarten and then become a primary school teacher. And she used to top her class and she was really dedicated. And then she got hit with MS. She, she, I remember one day she caught the tram to work and she fell out of the steps of the tram. And that was the first she knew about having MS. So this disease got her. They were in their early 20s and they didn't know how to deal with it. And they were like babes. But they decided, because they're bloody independent, that they wanted to tackle it largely on their own. And they made that happen. But with support from family and friends, they learned how to get from that stage to a position in recent years where they have got a total handle on everything. And They've done it together, they've done it with the support of each other, and they are through it and above it, and now they're having a baby, and I, I couldn't be prouder, and I think their love just says it all, so I'm really happy. Well, yeah. <laughs>